Good morning everybody. I thought I would start a little bit early in case we had any technical problems and we would have to start again. But everything looks good. We have a stand. Um, we are able to move so you can see me sewing today. Um, and I have my cup of tea. We'll just wait for a few more people to join us. How is everyone this morning? We've got lots of rain outside. Very, very wet. <laughs> Message from my daughter. I'm smiling at you and saying hello. I've just realised this isn't a Zoom and you can't see me. <laughs> I can wave to you though. Morning, darling. I've just realised you can't actually see my bunny ears. Let's just move this up a little bit. No, let's try again. Yes, there you go. So this is what we're going to be making today. It's a little scrunchie. It has the bunny ears on. Um, when we made our face coverings, if you all remember, this was the that was the fabric that I used um, from Higgs and Higgs. I hope you all went back and used your promotion, um, your promotional code, and you were able to buy some lovely fabric from them. So when we cut out our face coverings, we had some little pieces left over, and I said, "Well, they look like bunny ears." So. I used my little pieces to make a pattern and turned it into bunny ears, but I didn't stop there. I have a friend, a little girl's birthday, and this, I don't know if you can see that this is her gift. She loves foxes. Um, it says F is for fox. I know there were a lot of foxes around not that long ago. This is a print from my friend Taylor. I'll, um, I'll, pin, uh, I'll post her link below. Um, and I was thinking, what else can I make? And I thought about turning these into fox ears. So, let's see. This, these are the fox ears. And we have a fox tail. So this is um, a microwave cosy. So you can put these in the microwave um, you can heat things up um, and then when you're holding your bowl and you're taking your bowl out the heat doesn't transfer because there's some wadding in here so the heat doesn't transfer and it keeps your hands safe but also if you want to pop your ice cream in here it then keeps your hands from being freezing cold so I've made a few of these I made one for Father's Day for my dad and I thought a little girl might love one that looks like a fox so again these are our offcuts from our face coverings. And this is a little tech cosy. I haven't decided what to call it yet. We've had lots of conversations, my friends and I are trying to decide what to call it. So I've added the ears up here. Um, but I'm thinking because this is fox fabric and it matches her bowl, I'm gonna add some orange fabric here and make her some orange ears. And I think those will all go together as a lovely gift. Pop that one back up there. Um, when you were waiting for me to join you, I did show you this, I had this little, this is a bag I made quite a long time ago, but I realized that if you elongate the little pieces of fabric that you've got, I'm gonna show you how to make a pattern in a minute. You can make longer bunny ears so they're like this or you can have your short bunny ears and add them to your bag and it looks like this right i think that's enough ears demonstration shall we get started so i'm going to be moving this is the first time i've used my stand i'm going to take off my glasses this is the first time i've used this stand. it's not going to fall over now we've anchored it that was what happened in the last demo um we are using uh, the phone because there's obviously a better signal and hopefully we will not lose our live link 
um, like we did for the first video. So if it does, bear with me. Please add your comments. I will try and say good morning. Good morning, Carol. Oh, she's having an egg sandwich. Oh, I'm very jealous. Um, good morning, Shoba. Wow, I hope I pronounced that right. Let's have a look at our ears. So, let's move this down. So these are the ears. This is the fabric that is left over. Let me show you. When we cut out our mask pattern, this is the fabric that you will have left over. So this is where we start our ears from. So we'll remove our mask. Now in the description, remember you don't have to sew along. Um, in the description, we put the, the different fabrics that you will need. So we said you needed your pieces from your ears, you needed another piece of fabric to go in the between each of your ears. And this is how you make your pattern. So you need a piece of paper. Now, popping one ear, I'm not sure you can see that, in the far corner. Let's do it this way. In the far corner. Your piece of fabric, remembering you will need a one centimetre seam allowance over there. And then another one centimetre seam allowance on that side. And now you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw around your ears and stop. Draw around your ears and stop. So, let's do that. Uh, one ear, stop, one ear, stop, remove those, now find your centre point here and we're just going to join a little curve, morning Bradley, sorry, good morning Brad, but who is going to kill me for that, there we go, joining that one up. And then joining that one up. And that is the shape that you will have. Now, Blue Peter style again. Here's one I made earlier. So this is now going to be your pattern. So you no longer have to cut out many masks so that you can um, make your bunny ears. So now you have a pattern. You can... This is another off cut that I had. And can you see, this is my piece sewn right in the middle. Or, this is my favorite fabric. This is Minky. Now again, I bought this from Higgs and Higgs. Um, it is supposed to have little stars on here, but I made the mistake of ironing it. And when you iron Minky, all of your little stars start to disappear. So this is my, um, this is the one that I made. So you then tie this up around your scrunchie. So this is your pattern. You can keep this now, transfer it onto um, card, which is what I did with my face covering pattern and it will last you a very long time. I'm sure you're gonna need to make a lot more. So right sides together, one ear this way one ear that way. I'm going to mirror it on this piece of fabric. So again, right sides together. Everybody noticed how well this is going. Have I just tempted fate? <laughs> Morning, Sarah. I should have been a Blue Peter presenter. Do you really think? <laughs> I'm not that great with the animals. The one I remember these youngsters won't remember. Um, but the one that I remember was the um, the one with the elephant poop. Anyone old enough to remember that one? I think it was Val who had to um, step into animal poop. Oh, elephant poop. I'm just trying to move this so you can see my machine. Now, some people work in inches. I still work in centimetres. So I'm going to put my foot down 
my foot down. I'm going to put my presser foot down and I'm going to sew one centimeter in from the outside. So put my foot down. On my Janome, I have a back stitch. So I'm going to go backwards just to the end. And then I'm going to sew along that seam. Let's turn that down so you can still hear me. Touch wood, yes, Brad, touch wood. I have practiced. Um, Steve lovingly has attached, I will show, <laughs> I'll put a photo in the comments. You should see how my phone stand is now attached to the windowsill. Unless the house falls down, I don't think that my phone is gonna be falling out. The only issue will be if I sew too fast and then I will wobble and it will all be over. Right, so I'm gonna to get to the end I'm going to do a little back stitch. And then my Janome has a thread cutter just here. And then my threads are cut. I'm going to cut my other threads because as I found with making multiple masks, cutting the threads is the thing that takes the time. There we go. And then we're going to do the same with our other piece. Now, I'm just going to lift up my iron. I have one of those, um, I'm not sure what you call them, the irons that um, they have a little stand. Um, is it cordless? So every couple of minutes, if I don't use it, it turns itself off. So if I keep hearing a funny click and my arm disappearing out of view, it's because I'm lifting up my iron to make sure that it's going to be warm enough, ready to iron this. Now you don't have to iron it, um, but I just find when you're doing seams, or things like um, quilting. Um, just check that seams together. When you're doing quilting, you do need your iron on. I think it's all a trick to get us to, uh, to love ironing, which I really don't do. I don't love ironing. But yes, we um, on my quilting, we try and iron all our seams, either open or closed, or to the left or to the right, to the dark side or the light side, as we call it. Us quilters think we're really funny. Right, little back stitch. There we go. Now you can see my I'm sliding around really easily because my machine is on a sewing machine mat, which makes the job so much easier. Right. It's, anyone got their fingers crossed for me that this doesn't fall down? Right. So we have one. And we have two, but as you can see, it's bunching up here. Now that's not anything to do with my sewing. It's just the seams need pressing. So my iron is just to the left. So as I can't remember, is it the lady in Miranda? Bear with. And I have pressed so there isn't a light or dark side. When we talk about a light or dark side, if this was a white fabric and this was a darker fabric, the dark, if you pressed it this way, you would then see that along here. So you would then press it the other way, but it really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna press both these seams in, as you will see. You really should get a cordless iron. It has changed my life, being able to just have my iron wherever I want it. So these seams I've pressed in and these seams I'm going to press out just so they're not bulky when we're trying to turn this the right side out. There we go, 22 people. Hi Taylor, you've missed your print. So Taylor that is watching, I um, she is where I purchased the fox print for the little girl's birthday. I have checked, mum is watching this, but... um. The little girl isn't, so it's still a secret. No, no party spoilers. So we need to bring our pattern back. So you've now sewn, you have your ear, your middle fabric and your other ear. And you're gonna pop, look at that, it fits. Right, now quite often you can use um, Taylor's chalk. <laughs> Taylor's chalk, that makes me laugh. It's not my chalk, Taylor's chalk. Same as my Alan's Keys, that's my dad's name. Alan Keys, always made me laugh. 
So you can use Taylor's chalk, but, or an um, a, a erasable pen that will disappear, the inks will disappear, but because this is going to be in the seam allowance, I don't think it really matters. I'm terrible, I'm always using pens. Usually I use a bright red one. So I've drawn around my pattern, you can see. There we go. Now, please let me know. Hi, Taylor. Can you all let me know if you can still see me? Because I have my laptop on and it's saying, sorry, we are having trouble with playing your video. If you can't see me, please somebody pop in the comments. Can I can see what you're writing? So I now have my little pattern. So these, as also as we'll know, these are my paper scissors. <laughs> these are my sewing scissors. So I have my paper scissors ready for when I needed to cut my pattern, but I will use my sewing scissors. Oh, is that a nicer sound? Can still see you. Thank you, Brad. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> right. So I'm just gonna. I see this often on YouTube videos when um, Stuart Hilliard says it often when he's cutting fabric. It makes very strange noises when he's cutting fabric. <laughs> we all have our weird things that we like to hear. But that's such a nice sound. Now you're all thinking I'm losing the plot. So, now that's not perfectly straight, but as you can see, when you're making your ears, it doesn't really matter. Once it's sewn and it's, it's tied up, you can't really see what the difference is. So when I've sewed this one together, I left a gap in the middle and it means we can insert another bunny ear. This is stabilizer. Now I did say in, um, in the blurb at the beginning that you can use felt. I have used felt before. These ones have stabilizer in, these ones, don't have anything in but when they're on the top of your head they can they can be floppy um, so it all depends on what you would like these ears have very stiff stabilizer and they have this in does make it a little bit tricky to turn around the right way but as you'll see persevere right hang on make sure I've got two persevere and you will be able to do it so again we're going to use so I've done it so many times this make the pen work we're going to sew with a one centimeter seam allowance but we're going to start here we're going to sew let me put it back into focus we're going to go all the way around up here all the way around but we're going to stop here so go over your seam here start over your seam here but we're going to leave a gap and this is the gap that we're going to leave for turning We need to congratulate the husband, don't we? This is a very good phone stand, she says. The thing I don't understand about it falling over last week is it used to be sat on the front of our Jeep. How is a sewing table harder to stick to than a Jeep that's going, I don't know, 60 miles an hour? through forest, through trees, up and down scary hills and it still didn't fall off but it fell off here Oh Donna, let me just pause this Dawn help, I went to make a mask this morning and I've totally forgotten the first step of assembling it If you go um, to Wink Smile Sew, Donna um, she's not watching this now that's why she's she sent me a message on Messenger. Um, if you go to Wink Smile Sew, you'll be able to see it says, I think it says info, let me have a look. It says home, info, photos, videos. If you go to videos, click on the video where I'm putting an extremely funny face um, and I'll put a timestamp in there and it will show you the first part that we started sewing. Um, I think it's about, 
10 minutes in. But yes, I'll put a timestamp for you there, Donna, and you can go back and you can check. Donna joined me last night um, for our... Hi, Vivian. Hi, Gabrielle. Um, yeah, she joined me last night for my for a sewing lesson and we made um, some masks. And as she said, she's just forgotten one of the steps. So yes, go to where it says videos, click on the one that I've got pulling a really funny face. Um, go on to there and I will add a timestamp for you to tell you which bit you need to go to. So I hope that's okay, Donna. Um, but also, if you do have trouble, I'm sure we can do a little FaceTime and I can help you. So I've sewn, I started over my seam, so my seam is here. I've gone all, around, all the way around to the point and I'm sewing back. Now this is the ear part of our demonstration. Once we've made these, we were making the scrunchy part. Now this bit is quite tricky. Scrunches, just as easy as making the mask, uh, sorry, face covering um, demo that we showed. Um, very, very quick, really does take minutes once you've cut out your fabric. But this bit is the tricky bit. But it's not, so I'm gonna go slowly around my curve. So the tricky bit is sewing around the curves, but the, the, um, the bit that took the time was us making our pattern. But now you have your pattern, same as with your um, mask demo. Once you have your pattern, you can make as many as you want. And you will get quicker. Every time you sew one, you will get quicker. Morning, Ali. It says we have 15 people watching. It's very exciting. Sorry if I sound disingenuous then, but genuinely, I am amazed that you people are joining me on a Saturday morning, watching me sew bunnies. Is that because it's raining? Nobody got anything else that they need to do. Sitting inside because it's pouring outside. So I've done my second point. I'm gonna come down to my other seam and make sure, as I said, you go over that seam. If your seams aren't quite straight, like mine are, go over it and then just do a back stitch. Now, those people that watched the first demo, say two demos, it turned out being two videos, didn't it? Do you remember Betsy? So, this is Betsy. I'm going to use her to pink around my edges. Now, Betsy, for those who haven't met her before, she belonged to my mummy-in-law, Val. But before that, she belonged to her mother, Edna. So, without embarrassing anybody talking about ages, I think Betsy is the oldest piece of sewing equipment that I own. Other than my nan's box of sewing notions, as they call it. But I do think that lovely Betsy is older than that. I need to make her her own case where she can live and keep keep warm, looking after her. So, let's move that back. Can you use it? Yeah. Vivian, not raining yet, should be shopping, but rabbit ears seem rather appealing. <laughs> I Well, I mean, have you did you see the fox ears? I am enjoying the rabbit ears, but I really do think that the fox ears, there's something really cute about them. So I think warning everybody that works at the nursery I work at, next week we are going to be having, I'm going to lift up my arm again. Next week we're going to be having fox ears, but not a tail, just fox ears. So where I said we were going to turn this around, let's move this so you can see, I am pressing my seam. So if ever you need... Um, to leave back a gap for turning. When we made, so last night when we made some masks, we left, this is our, we left this seam open so that we could sew um, and leave a gap for a pocket. So all we did is we 
finger pressed it back like I'm doing now turned it over and finger press and when it comes to turning this around you will find that you'll pull the fabric and it will just fold back in on itself like this you just pull it tight and because you've already folded those seams it will go back really easily so take this to my iron There we go. Now I have seen a little tool, I think it's called I think it's called an iron finger. Raining here, oh Carol, it's raining here too. Um you can see it's folded back. There is something called, I mean you can use maybe I mean this is rubber. You could as you're ironing, don't want to put your finger, you could hold it like this as you're going, but there is something called an iron finger that you can use and as it gets warmer it actually folds it down for you can you see spot the deliberate mistake didn't go all the way around always check your seams when you're done i need to sew that bit excuse me I'll go back to back to the machine see this is like brew pizza isn't it just carry on working through your mistakes never really any permanent mistakes or disasters with sewing. All you can do wrong really, that's why we have these lovely things which I use daily um, because you, you can just unpick whatever you've sewn together. It's just sewing. You can unpick stuff, you can start again as many times as you want unless you make lots of little holes in, in your fabric cotton sometimes too many holes will show measure twice cut once that's what my nan always said to me that is the only disaster so if your fabric is the wrong way round if it's a directional fabric and it's the wrong way round and you've cut um, then that is pretty much it you can't change it so here you go you see when I pull this together it's just going to go into its own Holding it on itself. Right. Get our other ears. Here we go. So, nearly half past ten, so half an hour to make the ears. I think it should be a lot quicker to make the scrunchie. So, can you see I've left my gap and I'm pushing these inside. There we go. And now my ears are stiff. So I'm just going to sew up this little gap here. Now if you wanted to, you could sew all the way around. There's my pokey door. I'm just going to poke my ear out a little bit. You can sew all the way around if you want to. Um, for speed's sake, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to sew up. Vivian, let's have a six scattered all over the house. The unpicker is my best friend. Do you know, I have four, but I also have, have anybody found that they've broke? They've broken. I have some broken ones. I still use them because they're still sharp enough to use, but I found that some of the balls have come off. Oh, there you go. There's my gif. I will put in the comments. So Harry, I did mention to Harry um, that when you become, you know that you become famous when you have a gif. So lots of people on the sewing bee have some gifts. My favourite is Ali's with her double thumbs up, which was an ode, ode is that the right word? A little nod to her, because her gift is her double thumbs up, which is how I started my video last week. Perfectly intentional, obviously. Um, but Harry made me three gifts, so I will have to post those in the comments later. Um, me doing my double thumbs up saying good morning uh, me wiggling my ears I can't remember what the other one was but yeah I am now famous I have three gifts from my sewing take that one off so cut 
for a fancy. Yes, some have missing balls. I do. I don't know why. Um, I've got lots of this one, so the blue one, um, and the ball has stayed on. But I have some white ones, and all the balls have come off the white ones. Good morning, Kirsty. <laughs> Shall I call you Shep? I'll call you Shep as long as you don't don't mind. Lots of people joining. This is lovely. So I'm not going to press that because once we've this is quite stiff. Once you've turned that in on itself, these bits will bend up. You then can iron it because obviously this is stabiliser. If you were using felt, you know, you can iron that too. So I'm going to pop that aside. And this is our... I have a lot of miss... Anybody joining reading this later on, I have a lot of missing balls too. People are going to wonder what on earth we are talking about. So... Let me just measure this again to make sure I give you the, I mean, although the instructions are Donna, I've got my huge ruler out again. Tried to make tiny face masks last night using this, the world's biggest ruler. So to just check, it is 30, 30, in, 30 centimetres, but it's folded over. So 30 centimetres is 60 centimetres. And it is... Ten centimeters wide so we are able to use our one centimeter seam allowance so from the end of my fabric my bought ones lost the balls I am also using my Nan's tools they are much more hardy you are right exactly those um, those uh, pinking shears Betsy I mean she must be so well made I've got a rotary tool that um, I have to replace. It's also a little bit dodgy. Um, and it's new, so. Right, so, we're gonna leave, let me get my pen. I'm gonna come in six centimeters. Hang on, you can't see that. I'm gonna come in six centimeters from the end. I'm gonna draw a line, and then the same on the other side. And then our other piece, so on that side, turn it over. On our other piece, I'm going to come in six centimetres. Um, and that is, we are not going to sew on that bit. So I've already ironed my piece. So I folded in one centimetre. I use some of my great great grandfather's leather making equipment. Wow, those must be. Do you have to sharpen those? We've just bought, um, what's it called? A, a wet block? Is it a wet block? A wet something, whetstone. Um, to sharpen all of our toys with. So your piece of fabric, 10 centimetres wide, but you're going to fold it in, fold it in and iron that seam all the way along to the end. And then we're going to, where my line is here, um, let me just grab my pin cushion. So pin cushion, see I've got my everything ready. So I'm going to pop a pin in here to remind myself not to sew past there. I'm not going to pop any more pins in because I'm a rebel. You could use clips. I mean, I was using these clips before. So you can put a clip in. So now I know I'm not going to sew. I'm going to leave this bit open. I'm going to leave this bit open. So, machine again. So, oh, it stopped raining. You're all going to disappear now. 17 people watching. It does it stop raining now? Are you all going to just disappear? So, I'm going to go forward. My mark was there. Now, I'm going to go as close to the edge as I can. Let me just show you my foot. I demonstrated this last week and people said it was quite useful. So, Taylor, I need my nails done. Can you see? Taylor not only makes amazing prints, she does beautiful nails too, but I think I need my nails done <laughs> for my close-up. So, can you see there is a little triangle here? And when I pop my fabric in, I match it up. So I put my foot there and then that way 
I can sew the smallest of seam allowances so that it doesn't you're not halfway across your project over here so it's just that little the smallest seam that you can make there we go put back on a long awl gosh i don't know what that is and a small awl for eyelets oh i would like an eyelet making machine i didn't know that's what they were called though thank you lilia so as close to the edge of my fabric as i can now I can put my foot in, my, my needle in, back stitch on my Janome, and then just sew a straight line. Now this is where my lack of patience lets me down, because I'm thinking, I'm going to watch it, I'm going to watch it, my seam's going to be so perfect. And then my head, I'm looking out the window, I'm listening to what's happening downstairs. And before you know it, I'm no longer straight. I make so many tote bags and you will always find on all of the handles there's always one little bit that's gone whoop, because I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't watching what I was doing. So I'm just going to sew all the way down. I mean, I have to look that up, Vivian, because I really don't know what that is. But then I didn't know what a whetstone was until last weekend. So it has become very useful. Everything in the house now is sharp, although we haven't figured out how to sharpen my rotary blade. I haven't yet gone to Hobbycraft. I've resisted because of all of the, you know, needing to wear a face mask, two metres apart, one metre apart. I haven't felt I've needed anything that desperately. But I need to go to Hobbycraft or Dunham. What I have done though, I have used Higgs and Higgs and ordered some fabric. This again is, is the Higgs and Higgs fabric. You might recognise this from our mask making demo. I just think it's so beautiful. It's such a, a gentle print. So I've got my finger. Don't do this at home. I've got my finger where I need to stop. So it's just below that flower. And I'm going to tube that will turn into a scrunchie. So I get my I have two pins. So I'm gonna open this one up. And I'm gonna pop a pin in there so that I don't, as many times before, I have lost my piece of elastic when I've been threading it. I'm going to pop this on here. 22 people watching. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this wet, dark, horrible morning. Just push this through. Um, I know that people from the Winx Marso group have been asked this a few times, but if there's anything that you would like us to maybe didn't check my seam. Anything that you would like us to um, to demo um, in a in a quick live? So see, you can just go back and that must have been when I was looking out the window. See, um, if there's anything you would like us to do a live on, um, something simple, something quick, um, doesn't doesn't really need a complicated pattern. Um, please please put something in the comments or. Um, as Donna um, and Vicky did last night, if there's a lesson that you would like any of us to do, um, again, add it in the comments. If you'd like to know how to make the little phone cosy that I showed you, or we have a bigger one, an iPad cosy. If there's anything that you do want us to, to do a lesson on, please just pop it your ideas in the comments. Amy says it's sunny here. Wow Amy, where are you? Very jealous. I had sun last night though. 
the people on the lesson um, last night, the mask, the face covering lesson, they had didn't have any sun, so we had our sun last night. So I guess it's now my turn for rain. So take off your first pin, and then do not let. <laughs> You can see this possibly happening. Do not let your elastic go because then you have to start all over again. So I'm going to pop my two pieces of elastic together and then I'm going to change. Now my Janome has 30 stitches. I know other people have many, many more. But on here, a zigzag stitch is number eight. So when you're sewing with... Um, elastics or stretchy material or anything like that you need to use um, a zigzag stitch so this can be quite tricky but do not let it go and pop it this way just bunch up your scrunchie pop your foot down and catch and then push forward now, there's my zigzag stitch, and I'm going to, with my thumb, I'm just pressing, so good to have it here, I'm just pressing my back stitch, so I'm going, it's reverse for you, but forwards there, and then my back stitch, going backwards, and I do, I don't use a presser foot, I think I said that before, I have a start stop button on my machine that I use, so, now, this is the interesting bit, only in Bedford. Oh, thunderstorms? No, we don't want thunderstorms. So move your scrunchy bit, the scrunch bit out of the way and open. So this is the, this is what we call the wrong side of the fabric. So there's my scrunchy, there's my wrong sides. Now, when you see this, as I did, you're gonna have one of those aha moments. That's how they do it. That's how their seams are all enclosed. Because I had no idea how they did it. But you need to try and put your right sides together. See, I'm pinning on the wrong side. And go all the way to the end. Now, is that clear enough for everyone? So this is your squinchy bit. This is the right sides. If you turn, you can make, and we're going to do a one centimetre seam allowance, surprise, surprise. And on there. So, foot down, up against my, oh. So when you've done your stretch stitch, remember, go back to your first stitch. So the way that I do it, rather than going all the three buttons, I just turn my machine off. And on again. What size of the elastic? I will measure it for you in just a second. Morning, Vicky. Vicky loves a storm. Send it here. No, thank you. My lovely children. I have four, but the three that are able that don't live at home and are able to message me if ever there is a thunderstorm, I get text messages saying, "Mum, are you okay?" Because they know I am absolutely terrified of them. Don't like the thunder, don't like the lightning. I love rain, absolutely love being outside in the rain. Um, but no, hate thunder, hate lightning. So no, whoever's got their thunderstorm coming, you are very welcome to it. Um, I will show you what size the elastic is in just a second. I think that it's a three centimeter width. Um, I don't think it, really matters whatever you've got will be fine um you don't want it too thick um maybe because it won't scrunch up really well but let me get my i know they're lovely aren't they vicky they all do it <laughs> mum's terrified quick let's give her a ring so it is it's less than a centimetre width um, and the length was six centimetres 
it six centimeters or was it six inch no six centimeters my length was just over six centimeters and that's enough to make a nice tight scrunchie so i'm going to cut off all my threads awesome. i have a little cup this is a cup that my nan no longer with us used to always drink out of when she came to us but there's my broken one look oh so it's the white one that's broken not the blue one and i just have spare bobbins just a few things that i can grab really easily and then if i put them back where they're supposed to go then i always know where they are it's one of the reasons i made one of those um triangle cozies because i can then um store my pens in it so i'm gonna do this slowly yes it is mine was six centimeters um my elastic so i'm gonna do this slowly we're gonna turn this inside out we don't need to press the seams if you do too much ironing was that slow enough if you do too much ironing it won't look it look like a very flat scrunchie let me show you that again so we sewed all the way along and now we're just going to pull our scrunchie apart and because we did iron those seams down it does go in on itself so now we're going to start where our sewing ended and finish over here and we're going to sew up that seam so see 15 minutes the scrunchy thing i mean i've been going i've sewn i'm sewing slowly and so i have a little i always keep there's one here there's one here and there's one on the back of my sewing machine i have pin cushions everywhere because a we have a dog and i like to know where my pins are that if she's walking around in here she's not going to give us a huge vet bill and i can be at the cutting i'm very lucky to have a sewing room i've got a cutting mat behind me and my cutting mat i have a um i have a pin cushion next to i have one I have a little um, sewing tidy that I made um, to go on my ironing board. So that has a pin cushion attached to it too, just so I don't lose any pins. So, oh, look at my nails, Taylor. <laughs> I don't really focus on my nails, but that's all I can see. Right, so I'm going to sew up that seam all the way along. And you can see how scrunchy is nearly finished. this is going to be our last bit of sewing that's quite sad actually i've really enjoyed doing this although i can't see you i don't know if it's because we are all well most of us are probably used to zoom calling before that we were used to facetiming but i feel a zoom call a zoom call feels a little different so although i am sat in my sewing room in my house talking to myself I do feel because quite often I will sew while I'm on a Zoom call with my sewing friends and I'm chatting to Harry and Ali and Yvonne and here you go Renee and Sarah and Christine. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone out. Um, I'm sewing so it just feels like I'm sat talking to them. Okay, maybe show us how you made the iron tidy at some point. I would love to Kay, thank you. Um, so can you see, I started at the other end using my back stitch. Here we go. It's very similar. It's over on the other side of the room and the ironing board is in the way, but it's very similar. I will show you my um, my sewing mat. It's the same, but it has, um, it has a pin cushion in the middle. But because, I don't know if you can imagine this, my sewing room is very long and very narrow, but my ironing board is here. So it is straight across the room. So I cannot now go to the other side of the room because the ironing board is in the way. Right. So can you see now we have a seam all the way along. Now, if you wanted to um, do that in a contrasting colour, if you sewed slow enough um, and didn't look out the window as I did, 
um, you could go all the way around in a contrasting colour and that might be quite nice. So here is my scrunchie. Here are my ears. Now, as I said, this can be the tricky bit. So let's find... Where's the bit when I was looking out the window? There it is. So I'm going to try and pull the elastic a bit tighter here. There's my join. And I'm going to pop one. It's probably evident, really obvious how you do this. So there's my scrunchie. There are my ears. And now you're going to watch me struggle because this is quite tricky. If you have... If you haven't put your any interfacing in and it's floppy, then it's really easy to tie this up. But it's quite tricky when you have got a stabiliser in. But stick with it, I promise you. Now keep pulling evenly so you haven't got one ear. You don't want um, a bunny with one ear longer than the other. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. That's my keep my seam keeps moving. Keep pulling as tight. I mean, this is never going to come undone, but you need to make them as tight as you can. And then, because I've got the interfacing in there, they will now stick up on my scrunchie. So let's make sure we're up high enough. Oh, no, a little bit higher. Sorry for the extreme close-up there, everybody. So I'm going to take this one out. So take that one out. Now, the way that you do it, so I have a, let's make, let's give myself a ponytail. We've kept this under an hour, guys. That's amazing. Now, a high ponytail is a good way to show your ears. <laughs> show your bunny ears um, or a bun but I find that buns fall out of my hair quite easily so you have your ponytail pop your scrunchie in like that and then position oh so cute and then hold your um, bunny ears at the top otherwise they end up drooping Take the bottom, wrap it round, pull your ponytail out. Yes, I was a hairdresser in a previous life. And there you have your bunny ears. What do we think? Do we like the fabric ones? Or do we like the minky ones? I don't know, I think that's quite nice. They're a bit stiff. This is a cotton. This is um, a cotton fabric. You look like Bridget Jones. Oh yes, Vicky! She did, didn't she? Yes, I remember. Tarts, Tarts and Vickers? Tarts and Vickers, I think it was, yes. Such a cool film. Such a funny film. Thank you, that's the only time I'm going to be um, likened <laughs> to her, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like the minky ones because they're, they're quite soft, but these are quite stiff in their own right so they are they are standing up so oh i was going to show you my mat wasn't i um let's just go down just a little bit fab well done thank you i know they are really cute you will become obsessed like i said i've now got ears on my holders i've got ears on here i was thinking about how to put them on bags i did have an idea at work let me just quickly share this with you I did have an idea at work that what if you put, because rabbit ears are on the top, um, but fox ears and cat ears are more to the side, and so are teddy bears. It's raining here now. <laughs> Teach me my post <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I hope the sun comes back. If you put one, now I haven't done this, I'm just thinking, if you put one on this scrunchie and one on that scrunchie, if you then attach that to pigtails, would it then give you your ears out to the side? Don't know, I haven't done it, but warning you everybody at work, I'm going to have fox ears next week and I might have 
two little bunches. <laughs> we shall see. Now I'm going to show you my, now take it down, I'm going to show you my cutting mat. Now my machine is quite heavy. Um, you can get smaller Janomis that you can sort of, they're travel size, you can take them with you to classes and stuff. So this is my sewing mat. So I have a pocket here um, to keep things in. This is a bit in the middle and then I've got other, it's empty at the moment because I didn't want anything rattling while I was sewing. So that's the other side so I can pop things in here. So I've got one of those um, that goes over my ironing board but in the middle I've got a bigger, what's this called? Cathedral window, is this a cathedral window? Actually, it's a fake cathedral window. Um, I don't know how you actually make a real one, but this is just folded pieces of fabric. This is, you make this bit, you stuff it inside, um, and then you sew it down. So it has one of these in the middle, and it sits, as you can imagine, that then hangs either side of my ironing board. So I've then got, obviously that pocket's now upside down, but my pockets are this way around. Um, so I've got my, um, my sewing ham, um, what's the other one called? So a ham is for shoulders. Is it called a sewing finger? I can't remember, sewing arm. So I've got my pressing tools in the one side and then the other side, because if I'm doing a pattern on my ironing board, sometimes I'll put my um, cutting mat on there. Um, and this has got, lo it's got lots of little pockets along here. So I've got my pens, um, it's got my scissors, it's got my rulers um, and um, just anything that I think I might need. But yes, that, I will try, I'll put a picture up later of what it looks like. Um, but this means that when I'm moving, it just all slides about really easily. And then I can get it out of my way. Pop this back up. Another close-up. I've had a message saying that it's delayed. Saying what's delayed, Christine? Are you talking to Sarah? Maybe <laughs> she's talking to Sarah. I don't know. So, there we go. It's in my living room. Christine, I like that dawn. Christine, I think you're my favourite person in the world at the moment. You make me laugh. No, nope, back up. Gosh. So, there we go. Did we keep it under an hour? We did keep it under an hour. Well done, everybody. So, those are your ears. Um, let them know. Post some pictures. Um, Katie's going to post some pictures later if when she's made some. Um, let me know. I mean, we can do. We can do our little. We can do a foxy demo, or a foxy lesson, um, or we can maybe add them to the bags. I think I might stop. Have to stop doing ears once I've done my fox ones. So there we go. Thank you for joining me for this hour. Um, I really enjoyed it. I need to tidy up my sewing room now because I made it a bit of a mess. Oh, somebody sent me some hearts. Thank you very much. Um, good idea. He's going to visit Jazzy Fabrics. Oh, oh, Sarah's got thunder. Oh dear. I hope we don't get thunder. I'll be in lovely messages from my children if we do. Anyway, so this will be once I finish. So Donna wanted to see it later on. Um, it will be posted. I will put some timestamps in there so that you can see. You're very welcome, Kay. Um, you will be able to stop this, watch it again. And in the initial blurb, there are all of the different sizes that you need. So there's all the measurements, how long your elastic needs to be. So please post your pictures. Let me see how your bunny ears go. And we will see you next week. Had to do a double thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.